Hi, in the previous video, we used a verister to, to rectify a single phase circuit. In this video, we are going to use a, still a verister to rectify a, a single phase circuit, but a full wave rectification. Okay. Now today our main focus will be a full wave rectification using a varistor, which that is controlled. Yeah, whenever you are, whenever you are, you have a rectification circuit that is using a a diode or varistor, you need four varistors or four diodes. Therefore, we first need four varistors. Just go to you go to Simscape, electrical, then specialized power systems, and you select power electronics. Then you you select detailed varistor. You can rotate, control R. As we discussed in the previous videos, we don't need measurement port. You can unselect the measurement port. Then you copy this because we need four. We need four of them. Therefore, yeah, just whenever you have a full wave rectification, you usually use four diodes or four balisters. You have to rename. That's my first balister. This they alternate, they alternate diagonally, therefore this becomes second. This is my third. This is my fourth. Therefore you can you connect one to four. whereby you connect A to K, anode to cathode. Then the G port is where we apply our pulse. Because remember, as we discussed in my previous video, you use a pulse, therefore, you go to Simulink, Sources, you select Pulse Generator. Then, this one pulse generator, it has to control CR1, and CR2 at the same time. Therefore, you connect it here and you connect it to the G port. Therefore, because R1 and R2 they they form one circuit, they the the full wave rectification uses diagonal. Therefore, R4 by R3, R1 by R2. Therefore, we have uh, we can use a go to. You can rotate. Like that. Therefore, we need another one that goes to G. You can still rotate. Okay, let me delete those ones. You can give this one as a P1 or Pulse 1. Pulse 1. You copy this so that you can control the other set using a Pulse 2. Therefore, this is one is a, the tag you can use P1. Same case here. P1. Okay. Then we need P2 to control the other set of varistors. That set. Then the same the same case applies. You can use a, a go to. Let me rotate this like that instead. I can copy this here, but I have to edit the tag. Okay, I can now have use a P2 
two instead of p one. The same tag, therefore you just you see this arrow. You left drag no right drags to get the the pair the pair of the go to block then you rotate this is a p this p2 p2 that's okay they match to the to depot therefore the this p1 controls controls the first register and the second register the p2 controls third and fourth okay therefore we need our then we need our our vo our source for the voltage dc we go back to simscape under specialized power systems we have our sources here you select a voltage source as we did in my previous video for the diodes connect this here at that point the negative the negative side the other side like that okay that's fine that's okay then we have to connect these two and these two of them okay then we need we need load and current sensor therefore i'm going not to input my load so if we go back to library you go to passive you select this branch you can now rotate the branch double click select r this one use a uh, 230 divided by 5 i4 current so for my current my voltage here will be 230 multiplied by sqrt of 2 okay apply okay this is the source of the voltage this is my load we need we need now to use our current sensor we go back to library you go to measurement you select car current measurement and you select voltage measurement therefore you can now have to rotate this you can sweep control i rotate again control r then you need to measure this in the v in so that we can compare with the v out the current needs to be connected through the circuits uh, you now know the reason why we connect the current sensor through the circuit not across the circuit like that then we need uh, the same voltage measurement to measure the v load here rotate control i rotate again we connect to this branch so that we can get the readings then we need scope okay we need scope to we need to measure the intake the v in here I can use a go to like that there's a go to that have a v v in v in tag the same case this v in v in tag Okay. V in tag here. Okay. These two are same as you can see. If you select this one, this one gets highlighted. If you select P1, the P1 gets highlighted, meaning they are the same. Therefore, the pair for the V in this pair here can go to 
the scope. Therefore, this one is uh, my V in. It's my V in. We still need a V load here. This one I can connect direct. Add her name as a V load. Then we need now to define the P1 and P2. We're going to use a period of 0 0.02. Here it is. The pulse, this one doesn't. You can use 5. Then we said we're going to use 0 0.02 divided by 360. Then we need, we need to multiply this one by multiply by 90 for the P1. But for the P2, let me just for the P1 here. Let me copy this. Then paste to P2. But because we said we need we need to rectify negative side of the sine wave therefore i have to delay by 0 0.1 that represent 0 0.1 represent half of the wave positive side is a 0 0.1 negative side is a 0 0.1 to get a 0 0.2 in total therefore the p1 represent the first portion of the wave the p2 represent the other portion of the wave therefore for the period 0 0.02 that's okay lastly we need to configure this to use 50 because this 50 helps us to determine the the period that is 1 over 50 to get a 0 0.02 seconds for a period i think that's fine we just need to do the comparison between v in and v out double click the scope we go to the gear icon here layout two of them then just now run you can maximize x zoom on x you can see now this one is a full wave electrification okay but you see now the the gap here is very big this is because we are using a 90 a 90 degrees of delay for us to have these waves closer to each other you just go back to the p1 and modify this one maybe to be let's use 10 to delay you delay this ones by 10 this is a, this is a very good control it's, it's control model whereby you, you you can delay your circuit from maybe coming on by some maybe by a few seconds you just use the pulse generator if I go back to scope again do the comparison here now it is very similar to the wave we got when you're using a diode but we see now here we have uh, some we have some break you can see here this wave is not complete because we have a delay the delay we have of 10 of 10 degrees here okay this one is caused by the delay if you use uh, diodes you can't get that delay that's the reason why we call this controlled electrification because you can be able to control the output the nature of the output you can have a complete output or just a section you can still have a middle section if you need yeah that's how you that's how you can con you can rectify a uh, full wave circuit using resistors in my next video i'm now going to illustrate how you can now rectify a three phase
this one is a single phase because you have just one AC source therefore in my next video I'm going to use three AC sources here then we rectify and see the outcome thank you share the video subscribe see you in my next video